For part nine of our um, intranet series, I want to have a look at um, building a form that we'll be using for feedback for the intranet. That's very, very important for me. You simply cannot think of everything up front when you start building an intranet. So it's great to get feedback and to make changes to your intranet based on what it is that the users are saying. So of course, I'm going to go to the Microsoft uh, portal and in the portal, I'm going to select uh, forms. And in forms, I have the ability to create a form or a new quiz, of course. We're going to create a new form, um, the Nerve Center Feedback. And then um, we'd love your feedback. Please help us make this amazing. So in, um, in the forms, we can, of course, add different uh, questions. And this can be based on what it is that you'd like to achieve. Remember that if a form is only opened to the people in your company, so only people in my org, it actually does uh, monitor who it is that's filling it in. So don't ask their name again if it's not necessary to do that. So what we can do is um, we can say which area um, would you like to give uh, feedback on. And uh, I'm going to just go and say, let's say the home page, the look and feel. I would add search, most probably, uh, if AQs. Um, <laughs> the brain, which is my documents. Eyeballs. <laughs> which is the gallery and then you could also add a uh, departmental pages so if that's something specific that they want to give feedback on and then of course um, I can then also say um, uh, please rate the intranet and I can say give it stars or give it likes I can also um, how can we help help you? I would, uh, so I'll make this long answer and I actually want to move that up. So based on the area, how can we help you? Please rate the internet and then I'll add another question and say, um, so do you require training? So I'll just go, uh, yes, no. Um, and let's have a look. So what area? How can we help you? Please rate the intranet. Do you require training? Of course, I can add a lot more here. Yeah? So I'm going to go to theme as well. And let's set up a cool theme that we can use uh, for our intranet. And um, then, of course, I can add a logo as well. So I'm going to add a logo. I'm going to upload this uh, from my desktop, my cool little man. And there's my cool little man. So there I've got my uh, form, which means we can now add this form on um, the intranet to gather feedback from people. So we'll do that as soon as we modify the home page. So there's our form, our form's built. And of course, I can then grab the URL to this form. So when I go to share, I'm going to want to copy that uh, form so long, um, the link that I can use it uh, later on in, um, in my pages when I link to the specific form. So, uh, of course, just a reminder, you can also set up uh, branching in your forms and there's more settings that says only people in my organization record the name. Um, you can also say if it's only one response per person, but that's definitely not what we want and if it must automatically accept the responses. So uh, there's a cool way to just very quickly um, create your form. Let's take a look at the preview. This is what the form is going to look like. And then, of course, um, this is available on mobile as well, which really makes Forms an incredible um, app to use in Office 365. So we'll, uh, we'll catch up soon, but at least now we've created our feedback form already that we can surface on one of the pages. Chat soon.